everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and this is Stitched Up so today I have another fabric haul for you before I get started I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love on my Joni jumpsuit that I put up last uh, weekend I think it was and uh, yeah I've had so, so so many amazing comments on that and I'm really really humbled by everybody's comments so thank you so much and um, I also wanted to announce that the previous vlog that I put up last week which was the what shall I sew next vlog where I got you guys to vote on which pattern you wanted me to make up next I've closed the comments from that now and I've added everything up this morning and the named clothing Rita dress was the outright winner so watch out for that that's going to be coming up probably um, it's probably going to take me a week to 10 days I think it's definitely going to be the end of July before I get the opportunity to get that sewn up but yeah watch out for that thank you to everybody who entered and voted on that I really appreciate everybody's comments I was reading through all the comments and it was very split to be honest lots of people loved the, the style of the Rita lots of people loved the fabric choices that I chose but for different patterns so it was really interesting to see how everybody voted there was a couple of people there was one that said they voted for the Yari jumpsuit and somebody else who voted for the closet case patterns one so I'm not sure if they commented on the wrong video or what but anyway um it was good fun so i hope you all enjoyed that and thank you all for those of you that did take part so anyway yes today is going to be a another fabric haul but this one is a little bit different and the reason why is because i um watched jay from the camden stitch she posted a vlog a few days ago she's doing a series at the minute about sewing on a budget i will link to her down below you really ought to go and check her out because she's really amazing and the vlog that she posted was very very thought provoking she goes into lots of detail about your psyche and the psychological aspects of why we spend etc etc and it really struck a chord with me now i know that a lot of you probably think that i spend a lot of money on patterns and fabric uh, particularly fabric and whilst that's true being a yorkshire girl i am always looking for a bargain and it is, it is very rare that i pay full price for any fabric um, because if I see something that I really like I will do my best to look around and hunt down either a discount code or see if I can get it somewhere cheaper that kind of thing because you know I don't want to pay full price for anything and I want my money to stretch and go as far as it possibly can so um, so yeah this fabric haul that I am going to show you today is going to be um, bargain fabrics and it was a bit of an um, impromptu spend I will say um, because we had a day last week me and my husband together when we were planning to go hiking but the weather was absolutely atrocious it's beautiful today in fact it's beautiful this week in the UK in fact we're having this subtropical heat wave at the minute and it's pretty um, pretty difficult to get through the days shall I say um, I know you guys in subtropical climates will probably think what are you guys in the UK moaning about you know we have hotter temperatures than that all the time but the problem is we're not geared up for it in the UK we don't have air conditioning in our homes our offices our workplaces and we just can't cope with it so anyway um, yeah if you want to go get yourself a drink this vlog is going to be a long one and the reason why I say that is because I actually filmed this yesterday and um, you see I'm already getting hot I'm in the garden and um, yeah I filmed this yesterday and when I went to edit it I noticed that my eye makeup had run all down my cheek and it was really annoying it was annoying me so I just thought oh I'm gonna have to refilm it and it was about 38 minutes long so I will try and cut it down today because I thought what nobody's gonna sit and watch 38 minutes of me waffling about fabric but anyway um, what I'm wearing first, I am wearing the Tasuti Patterns Claudia dress. I'll put a little picture of it here because I really don't want to stand up um, and show you the full length dress. I'm sorry, but it's creased. It's been in my wardrobe, but this is in a white linen and I made this last summer for my holiday to Portugal and it is just lovely. It's floaty, loose and just the kind of thing I want to wear in this kind of heat. So, so yeah, so me and my husband had this day off last week where the weather was atrocious and um, we were planning to go hiking but obviously I don't mind hiking in bad weather but it was just solid rain all day. So um, 
If any of you watch Jo from Joey Sewy, I will link to her channel down below. She is another Yorkshire girl who I think now she lives in Cumbria, but she's frequently mentioned a shop that she frequents when she comes back to Yorkshire to see her family called the Shuttle in Shipley. Um, Shipley's in West Yorkshire and um, yeah she, she mentions about some of the bargains that she's got from there and so my husband said to me do you want to go so it was a bit of an impromptu last minute thing that we um decided to go hunt the shuttle out and see what they had and, uh, yeah i thought you might like to see what i got so first things first i have mentioned a few times about a shop called boys that is in the uk now this is a chain of shops that is, I think they're just in the north of the UK. It's like a budget department store. They do all sorts of stuff in there. The usual sort of sweets and snacks and things, but they also do homewares. They do sort of hobby, hobby, um, hobby things like fishing and they do decorating things. They do lots of crafts. Um, they do clothing, shoes. There's all sorts. And my local one isn't a huge store, it's only about six miles away, but they do do some dressmaking fabrics. It's always hit and miss, dependent on what they've got, because I think they tend to focus a little bit more on um, sort of craft fabrics, really, rather than dressmaking. But um, I did bob in last week, and they've got a few nice dressmaking fabrics in at the minute, so I thought I'd show you what I've got. So the first thing is this one here, which is a lovely viscose fabric. It's on a white background with these sort of sketched flowers on it in red, blue and mustard. If I bring that in closer, hopefully you can see that. Now I know a couple of people commented on my last vlog, vlog that I'm still waving the fabric around like a mad woman. Um, but somebody actually did say, thank you so much for holding it a bit more still. So I'm really gonna try. I get so carried away guys. And yeah, please keep telling me if I'm just not showing you this very well. But anyway, I hope you can see that. I got three meters of this and it was three pound fifty a meter, which is just a bargain, isn't it? So yeah, I really like this. I haven't got a clue as yet what I'm going to make with it, but um, I couldn't pass it up for that price. Okay, so that's fabric number one that I got from Boys. The second one I got is this gorgeous teal sort of spot dobby chiffon now you can see obviously that's really sheer but if i bring it in doubled up i don't know if you can see that very well it's got these raised dobby spots on it um if i bring it back you might be able to see the color a bit better now this was two pounds a meter and i think they did it in also in black and blush pink and a sort of creamy color as well and i don't know if you've seen so over it have recently um released the bonnie blouse and dress which i think is only on pdf format at the moment it was part of their pdf club which i'm not a member of this year and i absolutely love it i haven't bought it yet because as a true yorkshire girl i'm going to wait till they've got a discount sale and then i'll get it but i love that blouse i think it's very different and i'll be honest a lot of what so over it have released in the last few months i've been a bit meh about um but that blouse i thought that's really nice and really different so i'm really pleased they've done something a little bit different and when i saw this fabric that was the pattern that i thought of straight away and i appreciate that this is very sheer um but i think with a black slip underneath i think that will look really nice so um so yeah i got a couple of meters of that i think and i might go back and get some more because i'm thinking rather than just making the bonnie blouse i might make the full dress I think that would be quite nice. So that's that one. And then the third fabric I got from Boys is this lemon print cotton. Now lemon print is really always popular, isn't it? I know a lot of the online stores, I am absolutely sweating already and it's only about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, a lot of the online stores frequently get lemon print in. So this is a navy cotton. I bring that in so you can see now obviously the lemon print on there is not amazing is it let's let's be fair but this was five pounds a meter it's a nice quality cotton and it's dress with dress making width so it's 60 inch wide so if I bring that back so you can see and I think what I like about this is it's a little bit more um not as in your face as some of the lemon prints so from a distance it just looks sort of big spotty I guess 
Um, but I'm thinking a shirt dress with this. I think that would look super. Um, yeah, so I really like this. So I got, I think I got two and a half meters of this, which is plenty to do a shirt dress because I don't tend to make the full skirted versions um, when I make a shirt dress. So yeah, so they were the three fabrics that I got from boys. Now, the shuttle at Shipley. So we found the shuttle and um, the only thing I would say is parking was a bit of a nightmare because it is literally at the side of a busy um, dual carriageway and there was a little space at the front of the shop to park on but apart from that there was no other parking that I could see in the immediate vicinity so fortunately my husband was with me so he parked up and I said just 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 you go and find somewhere to park the car and leave me to it so I went in the shuttle and um, yeah it's a really big shop when you first go in you think it's just like this little space but it goes on behind that as well so it's really big and they've got loads and loads of different fabrics in there they do dressmaking they do some um, they do a lot of quilting cottons as well plus furnishing fabrics but there's a lot of dressmaking fabrics so there's a lot of choice and their fabrics range from around about two pounds a meter there were some at one pound fifty as well right up to 15 pounds a meter but the majority I would say was below eight pounds a meter so it was really reasonably priced um, now the first thing I looked for was some rigid denim because I'm really fancying having a go at the Megan Nielsen Dawn shorts. Not the full length jeans because I don't think they will suit my shape but I really like the shorts version um, and yeah I've got some denims in my stash but they're all stretch denim so I was after some a nice indigo denim in a rigid denim and I found this in the shuttle it's been washed already so it is unfortunately a little bit creased um, but this is it here it's a really good quality I don't know how well you can see the weave in that um, really good quality and um, let's bring it back so you can see it a bit better um, yeah and I think this will be perfect for those shorts so I have a meter and a half of this here and um, yeah, I think that's probably gonna be one of my plans for August to have a go at that pattern. This was 6.95 a meter from the shuttle. So I think that's an absolute bargain for this because it's really good quality. There's an airplane going overhead. Um, so that was the first thing that I got from the shuttle. The second thing was I have just had a go at the um, paper cut patterns pinnacle tea and I made it out of a white Swiss dot gauze fabric that I think I got from Higgs and Higgs a while ago now. I did put a little picture of it on Instagram so I'll just insert it here um, and yeah I really like it actually it's a really nice pattern and a few people commented about how very precise my stitching was because it's got this triangle piece at the, on the front which matches up to the v-neck and you really do have to be precise with that to get it to look right and to be honest i wasn't that precise i've had to fudge it a little bit so um yeah so it really isn't perfect but um i wanted to make another version of this but in just like a really nice pale blue fabric something a little bit weightier than the swiss dot that i used and I saw this in the shuttle and this they described it as a shirting cotton but it feels so much better quality than just what you would think of as a normal shirting cotton. So it's a gorgeous blue colour. It's just plain mid blue, like a sky blue. But if you look up close, it's got a really nice weave to it. Hopefully that's focusing there. Um, and yeah, it's a lovely, lovely weight to it. It feels almost cotton linen-y. I don't know if it has got any linen in, but this wasn't expensive at all. I think this was, how much did I get? I think I did I get two meters or a meter and a half of this. And I'm not sure how much it was, but I'll come, what I'll do is I'll come back to it at the end because I'll tell you how much I spent in the shuttle in total. So you'll see just how much I got for my money. So yeah, I've got two meters of this. Um, and I'm planning to make another version of the pinnacle tea. Um, but I really am going to have to be precise with that triangle for this to look right in this fabric because it's going to show up every imperfection. So that was the second one that I got from there. Um, the third one I got is this gorgeous embroidered cotton. So this is just beautiful. Um, this is just a plain white 
nice lightweight cotton, really good quality, and it's embroidered, got this embroidered sort of geometric pattern in there. If I bring it back so you can see how it looks on me. Again, I've got three meters of this, and the plan is it's gonna be a shirt dress, um, because I think this will just look amazing in a shirt dress. And yeah, this was, I think this was five pounds a meter, which is just incredible for an embroidered cotton. If you bought this from an indie store, you know, it would be at least twice, maybe three times the price. So this was just incredible, really. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that lovely cotton there. Um, and also what I noticed in the shuttle was they did some remnants as well. So they've got like a, a couple of stands in the center and they look like, you know, when you see curtain panels on um, coat hangers that are hung on a rail, they, they looked like that, but they were all their remnants. And um, yeah, so I had a bit of a, a shifty through those and I was really impressed because one thing, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant now, so um, yeah, one thing that really winds me up, I'll be honest with you, is when you go online and you see that somebody's advertising a remnant sale and you click onto the website and you look at the remnants and they're all things like half a meter or 0.3 of a meter or 0.8 of a meter and I just think, what? What can I do with that? Because, yeah, I know some of you might say you can use it for facings or pocket linings or whatever, but I have so many scraps of fabric already that I can use to make facings or pocket linings, etc. that I really don't need to be buying small pieces of fabric like that. And it really winds me up, I'm sorry, it really does, because I just think, you know, come on, if you're gonna do do a remnant sale, have them decent size, so at least a meter, so that we can make something out of it. Anyway, I'll get off my high horse and get back to what I bought from the shuttle. So the first one that I got was this one, which was a two meter length piece of fabric for four pounds fifty. Yeah, bargain, absolute bargain. Um, and yeah, this is a. It feels a bit like a cheesecloth, I think. It's really nice and natural. It's got a natural feel to it. It doesn't feel very sort of polyestery. Um, it's got a little bit of a sort of a rib texture. That's the, the rear side of it. Hopefully you might be able to see that rib texture there. And then the front side is there. Um, and I really like it. They had this in different colorways, but I loved this sort of rusty colorway. Um, yeah, so for £4.50 I thought, you know what, that's just amazing, isn't it? So, um, I'll just bring that back so you can see how it look, probably looks on. Don't know, again, what I'm going to do with this shirt. It might make just something nice, like a simple overshirt. I think that would be quite nice with a cami on underneath, you know, a long overshirt. Well, not a long one, but, you know, hip length maybe. Something like that would be nice, I think. I think I've got a McCall's pattern in my stash that would work well for that. So yeah, I think that would be really nice in this. Um, so that was the first remnant that I got. And then the second one is this one, which is, I think this is a um, seersucker, which again, cheese, cheesecloth, seersucker, it's the same thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, this gorgeous tropical print. Look at that. I love me a tropical print. Yeah, I think if Shan from Kittenish Behaviour ever let me loose in her stash, I think half of her fabrics would be disappearing and be on their way to my house because we share very similar tastes in fabric. I love these kinds of fabrics. So yeah, this is, I'm looking at it thinking it's black. I think it's, I don't know if it's black or like a midnight color background. Um, but it, again, it's a, a sea sucker. Um, this is another two meter piece of fabric. I'll bring it in close so you can have a look. lovely isn't it really lovely um yeah so this is a two meter piece of fabric and this was six pound fifty which again i think is just a bargain isn't it um yeah if, if they'd have had a bigger piece of this i would have bought more of it so um it's just two meters not sure yet what i'm going to make with it but um it's beautiful so in total from the shuttle in shipley i got this two meter piece of fabric I got this two meter piece of fabric, this three meters of this embroidered cotton, this gorgeous blue shirting, 
and a metre and a half of rigid indigo denim and that lot came to £42, which is amazing, isn't it? Now, the bad thing is that they don't have an online store, so you can't order online. You do have to visit in person. But for any of you guys that are either in the UK or ever visit the UK, come up to Yorkshire. Everybody always just goes down to London and stays around there. We have so much up here. We have all the mills and, you know, amazing fabrics like this at really reasonable prices and you can always come and stay at mine anyway moving on from the shuttle we then went to fabworks and i yeah went a bit wild in fabworks which i tend to do fabworks is amazing next time i go every time i go i say i'm going to film i'm going to do some filming and put it on my vlog and i always forget um because i just walk in and get like i get all excited and think oh my word i could just stay here forever but um yeah fabworks is amazing if you get the chance to go it's just incredible you'll love it honestly they have such high quality fabrics and they are so reasonably priced they do liberty cottons liberty cotton lawns for 13 pounds a meter they had some liberty silk in which was amazing and it was 22 pounds a meter which is just an amazing price for liberty um they do loads of different woolen suitings and oh it's just they, they've got all sorts they've got a massive jersey section of all the different types of jerseys that you could ever imagine they do linens they do cottons they do viscoses they do crepes they do absolutely everything everything loads of linings and it's massive it's this massive mill um obviously that's open to the public and yeah great great prices so what i actually went into um, Fabworks for was I am oops just dropped it on the floor planning to get into sewing my own active wear and um, yeah I've been I've dabbled with it before probably two or three years ago I did make a pair of leggings and I also made I think it was the it's the combined top with a sports bra from paper cut patterns i'll put a picture of it here i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head and i made that as well a lot of you will know i love running and i like to go running not in this heat at the minute but yeah i do like to run and um yeah i wanted to have a go at making my own running kit and to be honest it was a bit of a letdown and the main reason for that was purely my fabric choice the fabric choices just weren't supportive enough and I have mainly always bought my own running fab running clothing because trying to find decent performance wear fabrics in the UK at a reasonable price is really difficult. Um, I know people have told me about funky fabrics but I think they're really expensive, I'm sorry, I'm a Yorkshire girl, it's too much for me. Um, Spoonflower I think as well but again I think they're expensive. Um, Tia Knight, I never get the right thing from them and i don't like shiny lycras i just think they just make me look um bigger and i don't want to wear shiny stuff so um yeah anyway a couple of weeks ago fabworks posted this amazing italian organic active wear fabric on their website and i was blown away immediately i thought wow that looks nice so while we were at the shuttle and we were going to fabworks i said i want to have a look at that fabric and oh my word is it amazing it's eight pounds a meter which i just think is an amazing price you could make sportswear out of this you could make um swimwear out of this they only do plain colors at the minute but they're all nice colors as well they're not gaudy bright neons or anything like that so i got two meters of this which is um raisin i think it's called and obviously it's a four-way stretch matte lycra if i bring it back i don't know if you're going to see it very well because of the light and the shading but just trust me the feel of this is amazing and i am planning to make some running leggings and a sports bra out of this fabric and then i'm going to film it and vlog it and see what you think so yeah in fact i've yeah i've already done the sports bra um i did the sports bra a couple of days ago and i'm really impressed really impressed um so i filmed that and i'm going to be editing that and putting that up at some point for you to have a look um, but i'm going to make the leggings as well um, and I've got loads of this left, left over as you can see, I've cut, I've cut it out but there's just tons of it left. So yeah, I got two metres of that. I also bought half a metre in this olive colourway. I don't know if you can see that very well, whether that's coming up. 
at all. Um, if I bring it back, you might see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I've got it in this olive colour way. They obviously do it in, I think they do it in an ivory, a white, a black, red, um, like a grey colour. Not sure if they do it in navy. There's there's all sorts of different colours. As I say, they're only plain colours, but it's really, really high quality stuff, this. And for £8 a metre, it's just a bargain. So this olive one, I'm planning to have a go at making either a bikini or a swimsuit because I've never made one before and I just think this will be perfect for that. So watch this space. So I got those from, oh, let's pick up all the bits off the floor. So yeah, so I got those Lycras from Fabworks and while I was in there, I also thought, I'm just, you know, I'll just have a look at the other fabrics that they've got as well. And I found this beautiful cotton lawn. Um, so if I show you this, it's in like a, again, it's like a sort of mauve colour. Um, and I hope you can see that it's got sequins on it as well. Stitched sequins, which are, there's one there, look. Um, really, really pretty. I don't know if the light is catching that, but hopefully you can see that. Um, if I bring it back um, so you can see it. I've got two metres of this. This was £7 a metre, which I think is an amazing price. For this type of cotton with sequins on because usually anything that's embellished is mega expensive but this I think was really reasonable so again I'm thinking a shirt out of this would be really nice not sure what pattern yet um, we'll have to think about that one but yeah that's pretty special and I also saw this embroidered cotton which is just beautiful so <clears throat> this is hopefully you can see it it's got like a silver thread embroidered into it with these beautiful little flowers on it's really delicate really romantic and um, just beautiful absolutely beautiful again this was seven pounds a meter and I got three meters of this it's gonna be a shirt dress again isn't it I really like shirt dresses so and I think this will just look so beautiful in a shirt dress so yeah that's just gorgeous and again Embroidered cotton, sorry, I just knocked the camera then. Um, embroidered cotton is usually very expensive, but seven pounds a meter from Fabworks, it's just an amazing price, isn't it? So really, really love that, it's gorgeous. Um, and then I also bought, I have got some new patterns. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on my latest pattern haul, but one of the patterns that I've just bought is a jacket it's like a sort of trench jacket but a short version and i wanted some something a little bit different to make that up in and i saw this which is like a twill heavy twill cotton um it's gorgeous if i bring that in so you can see the the weave in that um this is like a dusky pink color if i bring it back hopefully you can see it's coming up quite true true colour on screen um, really really nice good quality perfect for a jacket um, the underside of it or the wrong side of it should I say let me just find, find a bit of it is that colour so that's the wrong side that's the right side hopefully you can see that there um, yeah I got three meters of this to make this jacket with and this was five pounds a meter which is just incredible um, they have such good quality fabrics at such great prices and they always know the composition of them as well so on every label on all their fabrics it tells you the composition which is just great so yeah this was a bargain as well so it's just beautiful in fact the lady who cut this for me sorry about that I had to change the battery then the battery ran out anyway as I was saying yes the lady who cut this for me um, told me that she is making a pair of 1940s dungarees out of this which I just think will look incredible um, so yeah this was again absolute bargain five pound a meter now finally in Fabworks what they also do is they have remnant bins and what they do with their remnants is they just throw decent sized remnant pieces they're usually minimum of a meter into their remnant bins and they sell it by the kilo so um, 
they're, they're all priced differently. So woven fabrics, I can't remember what they are, five pound a kilo or something. They have wools and they have um, jerseys and the jerseys were six pound a kilo. And I rummaged about in their jersey remnant bin and found these three fabrics, which were just fab. Now the first one is this gorgeous leaf print. Um, this feels like a viscose jersey. Just move, move those fabrics out of the way. Um, yeah, this feels like a viscose jersey. Hopefully you can see that print there. Um, there is about, I'm just thinking how much is here. I think there's about a metre. It's obviously really wide um, and that's, that's how much I've got of it. So it's probably about a metre, maybe just over a metre of this. Um, if I bring that in so you can see it. Really pretty, it's a, like a rust colour. Um, so I think that's really nice. Um, yeah, nice drape to it, hopefully you can see that. So I got that piece. I also saw this really fun print, which is owls. Um, now this is a cotton jersey and it's on a mint background. They also do this by the bolt um, and I think they do it in different colors. So I think they had it in they had it in pink as well, from what I remember, in a blue. But I got I found this in the remnant bin. There is a good meter and a half of this at least. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, so I got this as well, which I thought was really nice. And finally is this lightweight scuba. Now this is a two meter piece because I've measured it, but I really like this print. I think it's really, really pretty. There we go. So hopefully you can see that there. So this is like, a, again, it's like a pale blue, steely blue background with really pretty roses on there. Really nice. Hopefully you can see that, my hair's in my eyes. Um, yeah, there's two meters of this. So those three fabrics together, the two meters of that, meter and a half at least of that, and the meter and a bit of that were six, um, eight pounds, which again is an absolute bargain, isn't it? So yeah, so that's my little impromptu fabric haul. And um, I've now got to find somewhere to put them all because my sewing room is massively overflowing with stuff so yes I hope you enjoyed looking at those and um, yeah I'm gonna do a separate video on the patterns that I've bought because I have bought a few from the Big Four's new releases for summer um, I think over in America they're getting the autumn ranges in already and we've only just got the summer ones so um, yeah so anyway I've got a few patterns to show you that I've been buying but I'll do that in a separate vlog so who you've enjoyed having a look at some of the bargains that I've been able to pick up last week and um, yeah hope whatever you're doing you're enjoying the week and not getting too hot and bothered in this hot sun that we're having and um, stay safe and I will look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Take care, bye!